December of last year, so a year ago. Uh, sinimulan na po nating i-raise yung mga process questions at sa unang hearing niyo, ni-raise ko rin yung mga health questions na ipa-follow up ko uh, at the proper time. Yung normal or usual or standard exemption. Actually, isa lang po yung ano, no, either exemption or listing sa formulary. Ang, ang action po ng formulary dyan, pag may application, uh, either uh, i-deny kung talagang sa pag-aaral po ay, ay hindi karapat-dapat, ma-include sa formulary, gano'n ang ginagawa. Pero kung talagang kailangan um, uh, meeting the several uh, factors, no? Um, ina-approve yan so after a thorough study in deliberations. Now, aside from that, nagbibigay din po kami ng exemptions. No? Uh, good for one year lang. Mahalala po ba ng DOH or ng FEC in particular kailan yung huling pag-issue ng council ng provisional exemption at para sa anong produkto yon? Excuse me, uh, I, I hope you don't mind. This is an investigation on Dengvaxia. The Committee on Health has a chairman here, Senator Ejercito, and if we wish to ask questions on the processes involving the approval of medications by the formulary, that is the proper place to do so. In the meantime, I think we should all pursue the questions involving the reckless, I would say reckless disregard of processes in the matter of Deng Vaxia. Yes, Mr. Chairman, and I, I acknowledge that my chairman, Senator JV, is here as the secondary committee. And I did come uh, early to list uh, uh, and to raise the three Can you, can you yeah, ask questions issues. direct to the point and so far as the Yes, Mr. Chairman, I am asking questions uh, direct to the point. And that was my last question for the FEC. Para po, maihambing natin yung prosesong idinaanan dito at kung tama ba ito or may mali or may pagkukulang ba kumpara sa ibang mga provisional exemption processes na dinaanan ng FEC ngayon. I look at the FEC as a very important um, uh, mechanism or body within the DOH para siguruhin na tama ang pag-assess at pag ng departamento kung dapat tanggapin o hindi tanggapin ang isang vaccine. Your Honor, uh, at the moment, um, we're not sure about the, the, last, the last time that we uh, make an exemption other than the thing. But we'll get back to you. We're looking at the records. Thank you, uh, Attorney Bagabado. And thank you, Mr. Chairman. And rest assured, I think uh, lahat po ng miyembro ng Senado na nandito sa hearing ay on point ang mga tanong. And I'm at sure, the proper I'm sure time, babalikan ko po yung tatlong issue na ni-raise ko sure kanina ni-raise ko. I just wanted to make Salamat, sure. Salamat, Mr. Chairman. Because we have a session in the afternoon, and I'd like to see to it that I'm sure Senator Hershito can ask on the in aid of legislation on how we can improve this. Already there is a suggestion that the formulary should be independent. I'd like to ask, uh, and I, I think he agrees. Uh, let me just ask Dr. Guerrero here, if I may. Uh, Dr. Guerrero, did you feel any pressure here when you were doing Deng Vaxia? We were just asked to prioritize the review and that uh, uh, there was a... Who asked you to prioritize the review? Uh, Sino nang sabi sa inyo, bilisan niyo yan? It was from the Family Health Office. Sino yung Family Health Office? Director Joyce Ducusin. Director? Joyce Ducusin. Joyce Ducusin. And uh, did you feel that uh, minamadali kayo? She, she needs to discuss this with the FEC because there's a budget already allotted for the Dengue Lab. Were you aware that there was a budget allotted this time? We were emailed, sir. Were you, were you in awe that the budget came out right away? Hindi ba kasama sa press rin na nagkaroon ka ng budget na napakabilis? We were emailed, sir, on December 29 that the SARA has been released by the Secretary of Health. Hindi kayo nagulad na napakabilis. Meron bang ganyan dati? Uh, this is... The oh, please answer it very This candidly. is the first time, sir. That this is the first time this has happened. That talagang minamadali at pinapasok. Hanggang nasabi na nga, ito ay aprobado na, uh, na, na may political uh, uh, call na dito. Wala na kayong magagawa. Parang gano'n na sinabi, hindi ba? It's already a Saros release, sir. So you don't consider that pressure? Uh, we just have to review. The, uh, we just have to... You just stuck to the fact that you want, you want to do the right thing, right? Yes. And you were not pressured? Uh, 
it went through the review of the FEC, sir. I'm not the one recommending, so... And were there extensive debates on this? I can, I can, I can read from the debates. There were a lot of concerns by the committee on the because there was no long-term safety data, the clinical... No long-term safety data. Wala, wala then, tayong sa safety yeah, data. There ha they have concerns on the effectiveness because it was only 60% effective. effectiveness. And then there, the clinical... Uh, the cost effectiveness was done by the... Sanofi, Sanofi ang gumawa ng which has uh, a lot of biases and they point In other words, biases. would you say that this is supply-driven rather than the needs-driven? Justification uh, submitted by the family health officer. They, they justify. So, ang tinutulak nila, supply-driven, not needs-driven. Is, is dengue number one sa mortality dito sa Pilipinas? Is it number two? Uh, please answer the question. No, it's uh, are not. you answering the question? Yes, sir. It's not. Is it number three? Sa no, sir. Is it no, number sir. four? No. Is it number five? It's not in the top leading ten. Ten leading Wala sa ten. Of Pang ilan yan? I don't know. Is it not true na 500 na namamatay sa dengue every year? 500 to 600. Is it not true that yes, TB sir. is the number one, also one of the number one killers in this number country? Number one, sir, TB. Tayo sa, but, and is it not true that ang TB ngayon, isang million ang may TB sa Pilipinas, at yung isang million na yun, pwede maging 10 million. Yes. Would you say then, Mr. Secretary, that that should be a priority in the Department of Health? Uh, by all means, uh, Your Honor. Would you say that dengue is a priority right away? It's important, but is it a priority? Uh, I don't think uh, it's a priority. Uh, Considering uh, that the science is not perfect? Y yes, uh, Your Honor. All right, that's all I wanted to hear. Uh, yes, uh, Your Mr. Honor. Wong. Dr. Wong? Uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, the formulary committee also pre uh, prepared the presentation to quantify the, the harms that uh, the vaccine will cause and also some suggestions for legislation. Maybe may we be allowed to present. Please do. Yeah. Go ahead. Your Honor, if uh, because of my medical condition, can I be allowed to give my statement? Because I, I have to, because of my medical procedure in a while. All right. Go ahead. Na po. Your Honor, thank you very much for this opportunity. I welcome. Uh, uh, with, the, with, the, with all due respect. Secretary Green is supposed to have an appendectomy, is it? Yes, yes. Your Honor. Yes, go ahead. And we, by the way, we sympathize and we are indeed sorry for the loss of your father. And I'm sorry it's a bad time for you here. But uh, we had to go on because, uh, Janine, huh? Birthday. It's her birthday. Uh, happy birthday. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And the husband also. How come you know all this? Okay, so okay. Yeah. I welcome this inquiry and it is important for me because as the former Secretary of Health, I share the pursuit for truth and transparency. Ang decision sa pagbili ng Degvaxia ay resulta ng dekadang pag-aaral at pagplano ng DOH. It is an institutional decision to address the public health need and a result of our consultation with experts, advocates, and medical professionals. Ang tanong po ng iba, Hindi naman siya number one ay kinamamatay ng mga Pilipino. Tama po yun, sir. But when we were informed by DBM that there is a corresponding savings under the Miscellaneous Personal Benefit Fund, meron po kasing kategorya. Hindi po pwedeng pondohan yung existing and funded project for the 2016 budget. Kaya nga po maganda po, tanungin po natin ang mga, tega, mga director ng Department of Health, ano po ang naging basihan nung kanilang mga proposal. Kasi hindi naman po isang bakuna lang ang request, apat po at yung iba nga po ay naponduhan. Your Honors, since 2010, this has been very intense in the Department of Health. Ang hirap po nung isang doktor ka, nasa gobyerno ka, tatanungin ka ng mga nanay, ang daming namamatay sa dengue, ang daming nagkakasakit. Ang tanong, may gamot ba? Wala. The go we are spending 16 billion per year just for dengue. Ano po ang dapat gawin ng departamento? Kaya ilang dekada na pong pinag-usapan ito, yes, it is not the number one cause of death. Ang tanong ba yung ibang programa ba yan, napondoan ba ng gobyerno? Yes. May nagsasabi rin na yung mga bakunang iba worth 3 billion, e eh, kailangan napondohan rin po yun, sir. Hindi po totoo na hindi napondohan yan. At tama po, merong isang bakuna 
na pinapopondohan namin ito yung pneumonia vaccine, yan po inire-recommenda ng Formulary Executive Council, ipinaglaban po namin yan. Ngunit hindi namin masagot because it was under investigation by the Department of Justice at nagkaroon nga sa problema nung binibili yan dahil sa pagkakarelay sa akin ng aking mga direktor. And of course, I had a very intensive discussion.